9 of 16 for free throws for Mountain Crest. And Beck hits at the other end. Tipanogos hasn't missed a free throw. 2, 4, 6, 8 of 8 from the free throw line. Jinxton. Tight. No, excuse me. 44 42. Mountain Crest and the Mustangs turn it over. Perez comes in for Beck. Jackson Beck sits down with three points. Hamilton walked. He took two steps to back up behind that three-point line. That's 13 turnovers on Timpanogos, nine for Mountain Crest. Timpanogos, though, hanging on to that 44-42 lead with 4.39 to play in the ball game. Putu Tao back on, he's got four fouls. Peterson with four, and Perks with four. Oh, underneath, nice pass to Perks and he misses. No foul called, Perez with the board. Bailey fakes the free throw line jumper, fouled hard by Perks. And two shots for Bailey, and the foul called before Perks made sure he didn't make the bucket. Gets on Hall, his third. The Mountain Crest staring at some serious foul trouble. The foul right foul there. Perks making sure that you don't get a three point play out of it. Maven's free throw good. Boy, he's got a high arch shot. Bailey's first points of the second half. I mentioned he's had foul trouble. And he misses the second. Three-point lead for Timpanogos, 45-42. Peterson. Putu Tao looks low to Perks. And he tells Perks to clear out. Three and a half to play. In the ball game. Mountain Crest trailing by three. That's one shot for Crosby. Perks. Assist to Crosby. And now a steal. Mount Crest can go back out in front. Putu Tao. Crosby against Scatty as he backs it out. Crosby to Perks. Perks leans in. Can't finish. And it's knocked away by Perez. And they say Perks knocked it away. And Tim Penolgas. They'll get possession with 2.56 to play in the game and a one-point Timberwolves lead. Look at Perks, he just couldn't quite finish. Same play they ran a moment ago to cut it to one. 14 turnovers for Timpanogos. But they lead by, a buck, by one point, I should say, with under three minutes to play. And they better hurry and get the ball across midcourt. Timeout, Timpanogos. Coach Crandall hollering at his team about who should be where. I'm wondering why they're not. And the Mustangs needing to play tough defense. We'll see. 246. It's a long time to move the ball around. We'll see what Timpanogos does. If they just move it, try to burn as much clock as possible. And now this is the time you're talking to your team in the huddle and talking about time and score, time and score. You're ahead. The clock's working in your favor. You don't need to hurry anything. Yeah. 
Well, Mountain Crest has held Bailey under wraps, and he's had foul trouble. Tyler Hamilton has 11 to help make up for that. Scaddy with seven, Perez with eight. Crosby leads all scores with 21. Tutal with nine. Perks has five points all here in the fourth period. Peterson also with five. They were all in the first. So Mountain Crest trailed by seven at the end of three. Now they're down by one. They've outscored Timpanogos 10 to three here in this fourth quarter. Edwards on, and he loses it. Here comes Crosby, three on one. Putu Tau all the way in. Mountain Crest leads. Putu Tau with 11. And a one point Mustang lead. Here's another turnover. 16 turnovers on, for Timpanogos. It's killed him tonight. Putu Tau, blocking foul on Bailey. Putu Tau will shoot in the one and one. Last foul is on Cameron Bailey, his fourth. Putu Tau's had a tough night at the line. He's three for ten. situation here. Putu Tau makes. He was one for four in the third, one of two in the second, one for four in the first. And now he's one for one here. One for two here in the fourth quarter. Two point lead and just about another steal for Mountain Crest. Two oh seven, plenty of time in a two point game. In the back court they go to Hamilton. Bailey leans in. Shot good. So they go to their leading score. Bailey has five and we're tied at forty seven. We're back here on the 6th of January as Mountain Crest hosts Layton. Right now, the Mustangs only worried about the Timberwolves. They're in a battle with Timpanogos, tied at 47 with 90 seconds to play. Peterson, three ball, no, Perks can't collect the board and it's knocked out of bounds by Hamilton with 122 on the clock. Knocked down by Nickel. The inbounds pass attempt. So they'll move it over to the sideline. And Crosby will trigger from there. All works against Scatty. Timeout Mountain Crest. Coach Buck Miller wants to talk about it. Oh, 75 oh, seconds. That's a minute 15, and that's what you're seeing on the SE Needham Jewelers. Middle of the block, side of the clock. All tied up at 47. SE Needham Jewelers, your diamond engagement ring store. Foul trouble, Perez with three, four on Bailey. For Timpanogos, for the Mustangs, Pututau, Perks, and Peterson all on the floor, all playing with four fouls. Eddie Hall has three. Twelve six. Mountain Crest has outscored. Thirteen six. Mountain Crest has outscored. Timpanogos here in the fourth. Come 
down to the last minute 15. It looked in that second period, if you're just joining us, like Mountain Crest would walk away with this one. They were up by double digits. Timpanogos finally got going. They heated up and cut it down to a five-point Mustang lead at the half, and then Timpanogos took a seven-point lead into the fourth, and now we're tied at 47. Six-point lead, excuse me, at the half, or at the at the third period break for Timpanogos. Mountain Crest has outscored them 12-6 here in this fourth period. Crosby's got a look, steps inside and finds Putu Tao. It'll be Hall firing away, rims out, rebound collected by Perks. Shot good, goes to the line. Perks had not scored the entire game. He's been in foul trouble. He has seven looking for eight and a three-point play here in the fourth. And he can't complete the three-point opportunity, so it's a two-point lead for the Mustangs. Hamilton can shoot the three ball. He's got two of them. Scatty can as well. Short rebound, Putrutau. Scatty has a three-pointer. Oviat has a three-pointer. And Facemeyer's on the bench. He has two three-pointers in this game. Now, Timpanogos will have to foul. And it'll be two free throws for Eddie Hall. Eddie Hall has not been to the line. Foul number two on Bryson Nickel. They're in the double bonus. Eddie Hall shooting. 32 seconds to play in the ballgame. Hall steps up there, hasn't been to the line all night. Calmly swishes the first. Timeout, Timpanos. Well, Hall makes the second. Then you're looking at a four-point lead for the Mustangs, and it's a two-possession game for Timpanogos. Regardless. And the cheerleaders work in the student section here. Not a ton of students here, but the ones that are here are making a lot of noise. In fact, there's a student section, small student section sitting down in front of me, where he, right in front of those cheerleaders, and then there's some more sitting up uh, behind me, and kind of up by the rafters, and they're being a little more quiet. And that group you're looking at right there, they're making a lot of noise. So Eddie Hall, another free throw to come. And if you're the Mustangs, you want to defend the three-point line, but do not want to foul. So Hall with a chance to give the Mustangs a four-point lead, and he does. Scatty leaves it back for Nickel. Underneath to Bailey. Bailey leans in and scores. Asking Cameron Bailey. Seven for Bailey. Pututau's all by himself. Instead, he gives it up to Crosby, and they run some clock. Crosby finally fouled with 13 seconds. 